what is up guys welcome back to another video today is pretty much a sad one well you guys know that I put my fish inside of the pond right here that was my last video and I've had a lot of fish inside of my pond so I've had a lot of fish inside of this pond I had a tiger shovel nose I had a hybrid I had three pakus in here at one time and then I also had the clown knife fish and a few other small fish that I had in here before. Just a decent amount of fish I had in here and I also had a decent amount of fish inside of the big pond before. Some bass, peacock bass, a red tail. And this is the first time I have ever had a fish die on me. And it didn't just die out of no reason. I don't even know why, but it jumped out of the pond. I don't understand why it would jump out of the pond and I don't understand how it really would jump out of the pond. There is a few inch gap right here and also it's just straight up inside of the pond so he must have just shot straight out. I'll show you guys him in a second. It was the Paku. Everything else is doing fine. They're still a little bit spooky because I just put him in here two days ago. So we gotta bury this little guy. I also have been putting pond balance inside of my pond from Koi Smart. Everything inside of the pond is perfectly fine. The pH, the temperature, and everything else is perfectly fine. I don't understand. There's no reason why he should have jumped out. Maybe it's because he was stressed that he just got put in here two days ago. Once again, very sad moment in my history. The first Paku that's ever died on me, I've never had a Paku ever die on me or basically anything else. The four red tails, tiger shovel nose, hybrid, two Oscars, and the one Paku that's left inside of here now are all fine. Let's go take a look at the Paku over here and then we're gonna bury him. Look how far he is away from the pond. All the way over here. So this is he right here. He or she, I don't know. He's still like slimy on the bottom but dry on the top. I've grew him out since he was the size of his head, basically. From right here to right here. It looks more like a piranha than anything, honestly, at this point, because piranhas most likely around this size. Fish this size is what everyone is feared by. They're, they're scared of these, right here. And they only, they only bite you when they're schooling or they're just in attack mode, which is when they're hungry. And then we're gonna bury him. I just wanted to show you guys, give a, give a good look to you guys before we bury him. I'm gonna miss this guy right here. So here he is. I just washed him off before we lay him down to bury him. This little guy right here, he was a feisty little guy. He liked to eat a lot when he was inside of the tank. You guys have seen videos of him and his brother or sister eating. They've got a decent amount of teeth inside of their mouth. I've never really looked close at these things because I've never really had one die on me. I've never got the chance to look at them. I pet the big one a few times when he was inside of this pond. He liked being pet. But there he is right there. So, sad moment get the shovel and bury him. This is where we're gonna bury him. We're gonna bury him right here. Rest in peace, baby pack hill. Gotta dig it deep enough so that my dogs don't find it because they're hounds. Well, part hound. Part Never really had dirt like this in my yard. So here he is, next to the hole. It's decently deep down there. Rest in peace, little buddy. You'll, you'll have fun in heaven, I promise you. Hopefully you come back as another pack hill and I buy you a different time when my arowana is out of my tank. Now, it's time to fill this hole back up. I'm gonna go get some water and put it on top of here so all the dirt compacts inside of there. So here we say goodbye to the almighty Paku. 
some of it will soak inside and some of it won't but the parts that do soak inside are gonna pack down the dirt so there we have it we buried the pack hill all my fish have uh, a different personality and I like all my fish the same but those two were just different they they always were swimming around as much as they could and they always ate so much and grew so fast since they were little babies so those two had a big impact on me this one right here and the one that I just buried so rest in peace one of my baby pakus I might take this one over to the big pond so he's not as scared but who knows, I might do that in a few days or something. Probably wouldn't even record it if I even do it. But now, I gotta feed my fish, edit my other video, and I don't know, just a very sad day out here. One day, I hope to see that same Paku in the future. I don't like buying Pakus one at a time because when they're one at a time, they don't have a bond when they're growing up because they like to fight with other fish. They still fight with each other. I like having two at a time, so that's why every single time I bought them, I bought two at a time. So now, I only have six Pakus left, and the rest of the fish that are in my ponds, and the tank inside, I have my Arowana, two Silver Dollars, and two Red Tails, and then you guys have seen basically everything else. Every other fish that's inside of this pond right now is doing fine. And I also want to put a different structure in here. I want to put this in here real quick. Let me show you real quick. I want to put this in here because it gives them a very good hideout inside of the pond. Because the catfish like things that they can swim inside of or whatever. So I'm probably going to pressure clean this and set it inside of the pond. And I kind of want to have it like that so you guys can see the lizard right there in the front or whatever that is, iguana. So we're going to pressure clean this, not right now, and we're not going to put it in right now. But we also got to get a big piece of driftwood for the big pond, so that's going to be coming soon also. And I might get a bigger tank sometime in the future, not, not like really soon, but I'm gonna be getting a bigger tank. I don't know its size yet. I've been looking around. I don't wanna spend that much money right now. I'm trying to get my truck fixed so I can put my rims and tires on it and lift it. That's what my money has been going into right now is basically my piggy bank for my truck so I can get my truck done. But I want all you guys to go drop a comment saying rest in peace Pack Who down below. So I know you guys are here to support me and I might use the money from this video to go buy another one or maybe two more or something. I don't want to have this Paku that's in here by himself. I, I just don't like having Pakus when they're by themselves. So that's where I'm going to end today's video off. R.I.P. Mr. Paku. Hopefully that doesn't happen to any, other my, any of my other fish. I don't want to see any of my other fish jump out and not be caught like the big pack who did that in the big pond. I don't know why he did that either. It happens and the big pack who's all right. Thank God. You guys probably seen the video of that. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for all the love and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video and hopefully it's not a sad one.